So I started running down COVID, down the Schuylkill Banks in Philly. And one thing that they did was they cut the water fountains off. And that drove me crazy because I'm often unprepared. I usually just have my watch. I have my, uh, these things, I have these um, Anzu frames, nice for nice double as a sunglass, and you know, small Bluetooth for some, you know, passive listening. But the thing is, I don't carry water. One thing I love about being up in Bristol, one of these clean bathrooms in this public park. God damn it, I love being in the suburbs. Now, again, getting back to this water situation, I tend to run sometimes up to 10 miles without water. I, I know it's stupid. Um, I just have this thing, you know, I, what got me into running was David Goggins, and David Goggins is David Goggins, if anybody knows who David Goggins is, from the Can't Hurt Me book, and from his craziness on YouTube, or uh, any other social media thing that he uses to promote his book. Um, yeah, I just kind of felt like that, like, oh, you're not man enough if you don't have any water. You need some damn water. You need some water with some salt in it, that's what I learned. But I have ADHD. ADHD is a very impulsive, um, I'm very compulsive, and I am often unprepared for a lot of different things. All of that will tie in in a second. I'm impulsive in that, like, any, if I decide to go for a run, uh, it might be in boots. I don't know, like, I'll just do something crazy, or, you know, a five-mile run might turn into a 13-mile mile run if I run into a, one of those bike stores if that have one of those energy gels or something like that. And I'm compulsive because I actually, in my workout playlist, I actually have The Art of War. It's an hour-long book by Sun Tzu, uh, the master. But he has an interesting line in it that I probably listen to all the time. And it's something like, when you go out on your excursions, basically the further you go, the more it's gonna cost. So it's good to forage on the land if you can. But if you have to forage on, but basically, if you spend money um, outside, you know, if you spend money abroad, it's equal to like 10 times greater in your house. Now, I'm gonna kind of equate that in a weird way to, you know, budget and savings. Because, you know, a lot of times when you go out, when I go out running, um, I either need energy or electrolytes. So, a typical Gatorade at a Wawa is about, oh God, it's about, um, is it about 250? And then a typical energy drink, I like the Jocko energy drinks because they do give you a nice pet. Uh, it's about, you know, $3, $3.30 or something like that. And you know why you're at it, you get a protein cookie. So I'm out, I'm, I'm out $5. That's $5 that could have been spent um, in my house, for instance. If I got the little energy Kool-Aid type of packet things from Walmart, I can get those, 10 of those for, you know, $4, which is 10 days worth of energy drinks versus one day worth of energy drinks. So that's what I mean by, when I say you, you, you spend 10 times. Intelligent general strives to feed on the enemy. One bale of the enemy's rice counts as 20 from our own wagon. Little of the enemy's forage is better than 20 of our own. There's more than you would in using things at home. And that's okay, that's okay if it's like a life or death situation. I often keep a credit card on my watch, you know, and you know, just for identification purposes in case I get myself in a jam. But you can easily see how doing that is just gonna eat your pockets alive. So I tend to stay away from that. I like to forage on the land where I'm at, or if I have to prepare, I don't like to prepare too much because if you're too heavy, um, it just impedes the run. So I don't dig that too much either. Uh, last thought, I do believe in sort of burning the boats, but doing it wisely. One of the days that I got into running long distances is to go as far as I possibly could and you know not have a way back. So I've always kind of thought strategically, especially when it comes to time savings, on exactly how far I want to go, and if my body will take me that far. But if it can't, there should be Uber on watches. That's all I'm saying for right now. Thanks for listening to me. I've been Patrick with Zenith Training, and uh, I'm going to try to make videos as much as I can. If I can make a good metaphor and stuff like that, I'm just a dude.
Hey. <laughs> anyway, thanks for listening to me, guys.